Welcome back to One Life to Live. And today, we've got a mission. It's always nice to have a mission when we start these episodes off. And today, it is to conquer the Ocean Monument. That's right. If you remember, we got to conquer four major bosses, right? And one of them, we are already done with. Let's go into... Where is our, where's our little shrine room? Here, here we go. Dragon Egg, done. So, we want to conquer an Ocean Monument and bring back some glorious sponge to represent that and we got to get a warden kill and a wither boss kill i'm not sure which order i'm going to do those in but today our sights are set and i think i want to do this in a smart way we'll see if i manage to pull it off but when conquering an ocean monument there are a few things you can do to make it fairly easy and that's going to require some potions it's going to require some tnt and some bravery oops i almost just punched my la in the face i'm <laughs> sorry about that guy We've got this though, we've got this. Okay, so we, we can do all this. No problemo, I think. What do we need though? Uh, invisibility potions, right? Underwater breathing potions, we need those as well, which means puffer fish and what? Golden carrots, I think, for the, I can't remember. Golden carrots, I think, give you night vision. What gives you invisibility? Right, I had to look it up. I was right, golden carrots, but then we need to fermented spider eye to make it invisibility, so. Uh, hopefully, yeah, we should be good. We'll make some golden carrots, no problem. And then I need spider eye, mushroom, and sugar in order to make the fermented spider eye in order to turn it into invisibility. And I'm thinking three extended potions should be enough. That gives us 24 minutes to get the job done. So I'm hoping that will be enough. But let's see if we've even got what we need. We've got our brown mushrooms. We've got our sugar cane growing outside. That's not a problem. So we're simply missing the spider eyes themselves. Have we even fought any spiders this season? I've probably stayed away from them because scary. <laughs> you know, they're mobs and stuff. And we've we've done our best to stay um, risk adverse, as we like to say. So I think I will actually let nighttime come and we'll see if we can get some spider eyes. Uh, you know what happens when it gets dark around here. Things get a little crazy. But in the meantime, I will start to prepare a potion brewing setup and we will get things going. Now, puffer fish. Um, I need, I need, yeah, I need puffer fish. That's how we're going to get the water breathing. So was there, I can't remember if we found tropical ocean. I might have to go exploring for that, actually. All right, I guess we'll take to the ocean, see if we can go find some tropical climates to hunt some puffer fish in. And we'll let it become nighttime. So if I see any spiders off the coast, I'll just jump out. Give them a few whacks and hopefully get some spider eyes. And then we'll be able to make our invisibility potions as well. Ooh, looks like we've got a underwater ruined portal down here. Might be worth going down and grabbing the gold and seeing what's in the chest. Who knows? Could be some good stuff. Let's see. I do have a door on me. That should help. Let's go on down. Okay, well, I don't see the chest anywhere. Get inside this door, though, and grab this gold block. That could come in handy. One of those situations where the chest got buried, maybe? Aha, uh -huh. no, it's just on the other side of this portal. It's super dark down here. It's hard to see. And there uh, doesn't seem to be anything good in here, so not really worth the trip. Let's see, is there another gold block on top? Here we go. All right. So I was hoping for more, but oh well. Worth looking. And let's see. There should be some mob spawn by now on the shores. Hello, any mobs? Need some spiders. Oh, there's one up there. Let's go. All right, we can't forget ultra hardcore. So any damage we take means it's not easy to regenerate. We have to drink some potions or eat some apples or suspicious stew. I mean, we do have stuff now to make it happen if we need to. So there's that. <laughs> and I think there was a better, uh, better way to get the spider eye there than that. Yeah, we needed to kill that guy by hand if we wanted a spider eye. Let's see, is there any more out and about? Wings, I'll just glide down here. Oh, he's got the high ground. That's not good. All right. And no spider eye or string even. Wow. Literally gave us nothing. Thanks. Like I said, I think I only need a batch of like three. Like we can't get the job done in 24 minutes. That's, uh, that's saying something. Oh, we got a special spider over here. Look, he's got the potion effect. Wonder what he's got going on. All right. There we go. Spider eye. Might as well kill this guy too, even though. What is he? What's he got? What you, what's your special power there, guy? Speed? You look pretty speedy. I don't know. Hey, there's two. Okay. All right. We got our spider eyes. Let's see if we can get those puffer fish. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long. Oh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. You can live. And of course, I need to make sure I know how to get back home. 
So we got to keep track of which direction we're going in. Currently going, it looks like southeast. Hopefully we get to some warmer climate soon. Oh, there's an ocean monument over there. Excellent. So this might be the one that we're going to actually raid later. Perfect. Oh, look at that. And there's a, a ruined portal next to it too. Let's see. Are we getting any? Where are all the, the fishies? Oh, yep. There's some. In fact, I saw the big old Elder Guardian tell sticking out of that structure right there. We know there's one right on top. But yeah, we don't want to go anywhere near that until we are invisible. I don't want those guys attacking us. But it is good to know exactly where it is. Oh my gosh, there's another ocean monument over there. So we can choose. We can pick and choose which one we want to do at this point. Great. Row, row, row your boat gently down the ocean. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is full of potions. Sorry, I've been in this ocean for a long time. Getting bored here, losing my mind. Hey, look, another ocean monument. Ooh, I hear the fishies attacking something over there, as long as it's not me. And a ruined portal. Let's see what we got. Ooh, okay, I'll take it. Gold blocks in a bit of a precarious spot, but hopefully we can get it with no lava underneath. Awesome. And another ocean monument. What do we have over here? Oh. Uh, you guys guarding this pretty good, huh? You doing a good job guarding this place? You don't have a trident, do you? Let's test their skills. All right, come get me. Come on, come get me. You, you gonna you gonna beat me up with that fishing rod, are you? They didn't stand a chance. All right, what exactly are these guys guarding here? Let's see. Oh, a fishing rod. <laughs> Perfect. Next time I'll fight fishing rod against fishing rod, I suppose. This isn't exactly going the way I wanted to. As it gets into these more spruce areas, this is not going to be the warmer climate biome. So we're actually kind of going the wrong way. I don't wonder if I'm ever going to find my way back after this long journey. Looks like we got a boat that just docked itself right there on land. That's perfect. I don't know if I've ever seen a fully intact. Well, I guess it's not fully intact. It's missing some things. The mast and stuff, but... Like, the rest of the boat's, like, fully intact. Oh, no, we're going definitely going the wrong direction. There's ice over there. But we can't pass up this boat. We need to see if there's anything good inside. Hey, there we go. Diamonds. I'll always take that. I yeah, might as well check out the buried treasure map in case we're close. Let's try this again. We're pretty much right on top of the X. We are on block 9 of 9 in the chunk. That should be it. There we go. <laughs> oh, another heart of the sea. Some TNT. Ooh, we did need TNT for our adventures to come. And water breathing. What What do you know? <laughs> I didn't expect that. Uh, uh, can we just live off of these ones instead? The three minutes instead of like continuing looking for pufferfish? So I'm going to take that. I'm going to put the buried treasure map in there. And I guess, I don't know if this is true, but if you break that, it's supposed to not lead you back to it if we get another treasure map and open it up in the area. So uh, I thought that was a myth, but... A lot of people said that, so I'm just going to do it just in case. I'm not actually sure if that's going to happen. All right, I'll head back. I mean, six minutes of water breathing doesn't really feel like enough, but I'm still kind of hoping that we'll get some of the warmer ocean along the way as we head back. I kind of swooped around over that way, and I'm going to swoop around like in a circular motion to get back, and hopefully that leads us to a new place. Although, it's not very promising when we start to see ice spikes biome and we're looking for warm ocean. And what do you know? Another ocean monument. They are everywhere. If we can collect some nautilus shells, maybe we could make ourselves a conduit if we get enough. Another buried treasure map. All right. Now let's see if it leads us back to where we broke that chest. No, it doesn't. Okay. It's right over here, actually. Just another one of those Minecraft trips where you go out for one thing and get distracted and start hunting some treasure, you know. Normal day. All right, here we are again. Let's see if we can find the 9-9. Nine -nine. This one's going to be underwater, so we got to be careful. Okay, we should be right on top of it. Yep. Another one. Well, it didn't lead me back to the last one, so maybe this chest-breaking thing is the right thing to do. All right, we'll continue on. I guess I don't need that anymore. Oh, my gosh. I found a mushroom island. <laughs> There's literally a mushroom island right there. I know what you're thinking. All the red mushroom, all the brown mushroom for days. We can make all the suspicious stews. Uh, but we're pretty well covered. I don't think we need to bother. It's kind of cool to see one. You don't see them too often, right? Like all the guardians are way over there. So I'm going to risk it. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, that scared me. Uh, we got mining fatigue. We did get in range of that at least, so I guess we won't be getting those gold blocks either. Uh, there wasn't anything good in there. It wasn't really worth it. Our mission to find puffer fish may have failed, but at least we found our way back home. And a couple potions of water breathing, which I think we're going to have to pivot and just use those and hope we get the job done in six minutes because we have six minutes of water breathing. And if we don't, then we'll just have to resort to doors, I guess, so that we can breathe underwater. And uh, hopefully that'll do the trick. We'll, we'll see. Everyone's still alive in here? Great. All right, got myself a potion brewing stand. Let's see if we can get these potions of invisibility taken care of. All right, a batch of three. That should be more than enough, but I think I'm going to do another batch as well. All right, and I also realized our water breathing that we collected is three minutes, but if we take it and put it in here and put some redstone dust, we can actually get these to extend to eight minutes each, and that'll give us 16 minutes total, which is hopefully more than enough. Also, we picked up this glistering melon. I think we can use that to make ourselves some healing potions. Uh, we do have two instant health potions that we've got from raiding some end cities, but we might as well. It might be better than carrying this suspicious stew, actually. All right, three more instant health twos. Now, all this potion is clogging up my inventory, though, so I think I will leave a few behind. Hopefully, we don't need more than these three. We are almost ready to go. A couple more things. I want to get a better axe, and I need a little more redstone dust, which we can get easily from our cleric. Also, I want to make a bit of scaffolding. I think these will come in handy. And I guess I'll pick up some more arrows, too. All right, we got everything we need, and I threw in some night vision, and I'll explain why here in a little bit. But in order to do this, we actually need to go into battle naked. So scary as it is in the ultra hardcore to take off all of our armor, uh, got to do it. <laughs> but, uh, oh, there's no room in the shulker box even. I could wear one piece of armor and probably be okay. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that. We'll leave the boots on. They got a little bit of depth strider on. It might come in handy. And then now we can just take this and off we go. Hopefully we left enough space in our inventory to pick up the sponge that it's going to drop because that is our trophy of the kill. Assuming we get the job done without death. And let's head over to that ocean monument we found just around the mountain there. I suppose we could have waited until we got there to uh, take all of our armor off. But I don't think there's anything dangerous along the way. So I guess it doesn't matter. Uh-huh. I see you. All right. It looks like the front entrance is there. So we're going to come over here, position ourselves. And we, we're going to get that mining fatigue here any second. I don't want to get so close that they start attacking. So here's probably good. All right, we're going to try to be smart about this. So here's the reason why I brought the night vision. One is once we're underwater, it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see. And two, it'll be a nice visual indicator that our other potions are wearing off, like our invisibility and our water breathing. So when we see the night vision go away, we know we got to get another potion in us, one of each probably. So let's go ahead. And here we go. We're going to down this guy. We're going to save some inventory space, invisibility. There we go. And water breathing. And all right, we should be, yeah, just us in our, in our boots. Now, ooh, uh, there was a shield can probably come off too. They might see us with that shield. So I'm going to take that off, reload the bar. A couple things I need to get into place here. And we are good to go. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> if they see us for some odd reason, we're going to book it out of here and go with plan B. All right, so far, so good. Now, what we want to do is place down TNT about right there that should work sand block on top that's going to help it from uh still being able to actually blow up and, and break blocks so you'll see as we do this sand falls through we're going to back up i don't want to take any damage from this and there we go busted a hole in there and i think our first elder guardian should just be right inside here somewhere we just gotta find him oh my gosh there's the sponge room right there that's crazy where is this guy? Excuse me. Excuse me. Aha, uh -huh, there he is. Oh, now we get it. Okay, his thorns are out. So we're going to use the bow attack until those go in. All right. And then once they're in, go hit them like that and not take any damage. Should go a lot quicker that way. Once they come out, though. There we go. Down. We did it. One down. Although that's not the mission. It is to get all three. So we did pick it up. Our wet sponge. Excellent. Let's go back up where we came in. And see if we can get all this done on one set of potions. That would be fantastic. All right. All right. We're going to use the same method to break in through the top here. Put down TNT right there. We'll put down the sand on top of it. 
and the redstone, and then back away. And, oh, that guardian's gonna be hating life. <laughs> that, that didn't feel good. <laughs> he booked it out of there. All right, and our next elder guardian should be right in here. Oh, geez, yes, hi. Uh, it doesn't even have his thorns out. Hello. Come on. He has no idea who's hitting him. Hey, second one down. This is easy mode. All right, next one. Which one is left? The swing over here. Same story, TNT, sand, and redstone, and back away. Thank you, thank you. All right, you should be in here. Let's go get our redstone back. Hello, there you are. Okay, his thorns are out. Let's go ahead and get him from a distance. <laughs> Which one of y'all hit me? It's like he's looking right at me, but I'm invisible. And done! Um, you can't see my face, but there's a big grin on it, because that was easy, and we're awesome. <laughs> uh, how long did that take? We still have four minutes? That took us less than four minutes to get in here and, and kill all those guys. Nice. So I think what I'm going to do is just stand out here and wait for the mining tig to wear off, and maybe do one more uh, potion of each. Go in there, harvest some blocks so that we can make conduits and stuff, and... Get all those other sponges as well from that sponge room we found. And maybe just look around a little bit while our potions are working. See what else we can find. All right, mining fatigue is about to wear off. And it's also a good test to make sure there's not like an extra elder guardian in there. <laughs> Shouldn't be the case. It should just be the three. But if we get mining fatigue again, then we know somehow there's, there's more than three. But anyway, let's just go ahead and slam some potions again just to top us off. And just in case I'll get a few more ready. And let's head back in. All right, let's see if we can find that sponge room again. Where was it? I think it was just through here. Around the corner here. Yep. <laughs> up from these magma blocks, which I don't know how they ended up in here. There we go. Oh, look at all this. I should have brought a hoe. Yeah, I should have brought a hoe. This is going to take a long time. There we go. We can dig a little bit faster for sin and a door at least. All right, 36 wet sponge. Not bad. Do a little exploring, see if we can find that gold room or something cool like that. Okay, we got four minutes left. Got definitely got to keep our eye on that. Two minutes left, and I'm not finding a room with the gold in it. This one kind of spawned a little bit weird. There's a lot of dead ends that go nowhere, and yeah, I just can't find anything I'm used to seeing. So I think before I get too lost, I'm just going to to leave while I'm still alive. I do want to take enough of these blocks to make a conduit, though. I might as well pick up some free ink along the way. Well, we wanted gold. I guess this is the best we can do. And that's that. I guess our job is done here. Oh, our night vision's wearing off. All right, no more potion effects. And uh, I should probably put my armor back on. Luckily for me, the sun is coming up. All right, home sweet home. And before we go any further, let's go ahead and get these back out. Oh, which ones were we wearing? Probably protection four. Yep, that's our helmet. And we had our wings, of course. Ah, oh, that's better. All right, might as well store some of these for next time. We might want to go back and harvest some more from there. And we'll use our invisibility for that. And we'll have to get some more underwater breathing somehow. I mean, with my helmet being respiration two there, uh, it actually keeps me underwater quite a long time before I have to worry about it. So maybe we won't need it. I just want to make sure that we don't get killed by all the guardians that are chilling in there. And now, of course, we can take our wet sponge and there we go. Two of the major mob bosses down, two to go. Well, that was fantastic work today, but I can't help but feeling it was too easy. Did we, did we make that too easy? Did we go in too prepared? Should we be more brave on our next fights? I mean, we could get three skulls and spawn a wither boss underneath the end portal where he's stuck and just, just slice him and dice him without any, any risk at all. Or, or we could just, spawn him loose somewhere out in the middle of nowhere and, and, and fight him, you know, like on land and it'd be really, 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 really scary. I'd say maybe somewhere in between. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that. I mean, we could do things like the ultra easy way, or we could add a little bit of risk and spice to our lives here. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, uh, but uh, that was, that was just, I mean, we didn't even, we didn't even get a scratch on us. So feeling kind of good about myself, but also like, that was too easy. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. With that said, I'll see you again next time. Have a good one, everyone.